Good morning. So today, there's not a whole lot going on, but I've been doing some planning this morning. So I've got to go to work. Um, make sure my door's locked. And uh, I don't have a fun outfit today. I, I know a lot of you think this is probably silly. You don't care what somebody wears, but I love to see what somebody wears. So it gives me ideas of how to put outfits together. So today, no LuLaRoe, but um, let's see if you can see that. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's a cute little peasant top that's longer in the back. And um, I have a tank, a nice soft tank underneath. And I've got boots on, and these are new boots. I hope I can make it through the appointments. They're a little wedge, but I already feel pressure on the balls of my feet. My feet are so shot from standing for all these years. And when I worked at the school as an instructor, I got to stand on concrete all day with no breaks sitting down, except for lunch. I got to sit for lunch, which that half hour out of a 10 hour day was not enough, but um, they should have had mats or better flooring. I don't know. And gripe, gripe, gripe. <laughs> anyway, thankfully I don't have that job anymore to deal with. Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab my book. I've got to, I gotta move the computer out here. But, um, I was organizing some stuff this morning, and I think, yeah, there we go. And, um, trying to figure out what I need to do, because this time of year, I like to start spring cleaning early, purging stuff you don't need, that kind of thing. Organizing, everybody does it at different times of the year. And, um, this is my time. I'm gonna open this window. So, uh... I'm gonna clean my closet. It's a disaster. You guys have probably gotten a glimpse of it. It's terrible. I don't know how it gets like that. I mean, neither one of us are careful. So, Ragnar, you better knock it off. In fact, I think it's warm enough. I'm gonna put the dogs out. Um, Ragnar and Strut out in the kitchen. Oh, no. Sorry, peekaboo. <laughs> Out in, I had to get dog bones. Okay, I'm gonna put them out in the garage. This will be interesting. So I'm gonna give Shotzi do. There's yours. There's Sage. Okay, Strut, Ragnar, come with me. Okay, they're ready to go. We're going to the garage kennel. Turn the light on. Kennel up. Kennel up. Ragnar or Strut, kennel. So this, I don't know how well you can see, but this is a kennel area, and this box that Ragnar's in, that's a really nice, hey, nope, you're not coming back out. Um, this is where my freezer is. This is a, it's enclosed, it never freezes. There, there's their water, it's not frozen. It never freezes in here. There's cabinets floor to ceiling. So um, this way they can go out into the yard. There's a big side yard, the whole side of our house. So, and they're safe and they can get in the box if they're cold. And Okay, um, so those guys are taken care of. I make sure they have water. Um, gotta grab my lunch. And girlies, don't think you're gonna get another cookie. One cookie is enough. What am I gonna have? Okay, I need a bottle of water. A bottle of water, 24 ounces going with me, and a full Yeti, which I think the Yeti with the ice holds about 10 ounces. Uh, I better get a salad together. Yep, my Asian salad, and I've got some chicken I can take with me. Or you know what? I've got this antibiotic herb, yeah. Uncured applewood smoked bacon. I'm gonna take that and I can roll that up in some cheese. <laughs> Let's take the whole thing. <laughs> and oh, that's the other thing. I need to clean out the refrigerator and this freezer. Um, so you guys are probably gonna see a little bit of that. Go get my computer. Uh, okay, I got two videos edited this morning, one uploaded, and um I mean, it's, it's hectic to stay busy or to stay caught up with all this stuff because um, I've started 
5, 5.15 every morning. Get those edited. And I have I, I really don't mind doing the vlogs every day. Um, if you guys want to see a vlog, like a combination vlog, I would call it, like once um once a week and just do, you know, bits and pieces from day to day, if that makes sense. Like, you know, five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow, whatever. Or, you know, let me know what you what you want to see because um, I certainly can adapt to what you guys want. You guys are the why I'm here in the first place. <laughs> and, whoops, I'm gonna drop the cord. Where's the cord? Okay, so I'm gonna put the computer down, get that all shut down for the day, and go to work. I will bring you back, because we're gonna be making pot stickers later, so I'm probably going to make you be involved in that little dealy wop. Um, okay. Okay guys, I am home from work and it was a nice short day. Um, that's what's nice about having your own schedule. Not that I wouldn't stay if I had, if I was needed, but um, all those people that rescheduled, I'm, I'm able to uh, schedule them wherever it's, you know, convenient for them and me. And so it's, it's past lunchtime. I did have, for you Weight Watcher followers, I did have, um, that ham and I had a wedge of laughing cow cheese and just rolled up. I spread the laughing cow cheese over the four pieces of ham individually and had like little ham roll ups. And uh, I had my apple and that's zero points. The ham was, um, I believe it's one for the serving of ham and for two, I can't remember now. And, <laughs> um, it's one, it's one point for the serving of ham and it's one point for the light laughing cow cheese. So if you guys don't have that, that's delicious. And now I'm gonna have a salad because I'm gonna make pot stickers and I don't wanna overindulge. So I wanna have, you know, food on, on my stomach. And of course I'm not gonna make them till dinner time, but you know how it is when you're hungry and you're cooking, you end up snacking on this and that and the other thing. So all the dogs are in. It started right, these boys just make themselves at home. Um, it started raining while I was at work. It was 40% chance, well, it's doing it. And it's, it's light rain though, so it shouldn't be too bad other than making a bunch of mud. So I need to do these dishes. I've got a cup to put away over there. And get all this cleaned up, make coffee for tomorrow before I even start this process because then I'll be grinding up that meat um, and it, I guess I can set you up so you guys can watch the process. And I'm going to be chopping up very finely a bunch of vegetables that are going to go in those pot stickers as well. They're not just going to be solid meat. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Michael's excited. And then we can utilize the rest of that Asian salad for um, our dinner tonight. Because um, Michael hasn't had any yet. I've been eating on it. And... Uh, I'm gonna throw some broccoli slaw in there to liven it up a bit. And maybe even some mandarin oranges if I have some. But let's see, what else do I need to do? Um, oh, I had to move a whole day of clients for a big giant dental appointment. Uh -huh. I'll be glad when I don't have to go to the dentist for a while. Anyway, um, do you guys like going to the dentist? <laughs> I don't, but I have the best dentist on the planet. I will say that. And he's the only dentist I've ever said that about. So, okay, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll bring you back when I got something to show you. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do a test pot sticker. Ooh, I gotta make sure I have pot sticker wrappers. So wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. One ton wrappers. Make sure those are still good. I don't know that they are. Do I have a new package? Ugh. I'll be bummed if they aren't. Oh, I got all kinds of goodies in here. Yeah, so the doggies are gonna get a little bit of a treat. You guys are gonna have a treat, but I have to throw these. These are pepperoncinis that I had out for a while, and they're probably still good, but who knows. Let's see about these pot stickers. I think 
Well, I'll check them out. And if I have to, I'll run to the store. I'll tell you what, I had to come straight home. I wore a pair of boots that, um, it's a wedged heel, but my feet are just shot. I, I'm telling you, I, I hurt so bad. I was like, Ugh, I'm so glad it wasn't a long day. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I'd have had to take them off. So I'm not gonna be able to wear those anymore. And they're pretty, they're brand new. I've worn them one, one other time. And I remember today why I didn't like them. Those are sit down boots. Anyway, um, I have two pairs now like that. And I need to find a new pair of black boots and I need a pair of gray boots, even though it's like at the end of boot season for the retailers, but anyway. Okay, so I'll bring you back. <laughs> Bye. So I'm busy doing the checker and uh, I'm just, I'm gonna give you an example. This is uh, what size the little breasts are. That's one breast side. And I'm just cutting these in strips so they can go into the grinder easily. Any, you know, if I see a feather um, or something that looks odd, even though I've inspected these like this is the third time, you know, or a BB, any of that, get those out of there. And I just take them and wipe them so they stick on a paper towel. And then here I've got, um, this is one of the legs, and they're not very big, but this is a good size one. This is a nice meaty one. Arr. <laughs> if these were fried, oh my goodness, I'd be in that. Oh, it's my favorite and if you're gonna fry them you definitely want to brine them because they aren't going to be tender enough if you don't brine them these have been brined for a couple of days so they're all good to go even though I am um, I'm gonna grind them up they'll be tender but they'll also have a little bit more flavor because I brine them with salt water and sugar and not a heavy amount I don't like a lot I don't think it takes a lot of sugar and salt to brine anything. I think we overdo it, to tell you the truth. And it will take on a really salty flavor if you're not careful. So I'm gonna get the rest of this all cut up and then we're gonna grind it up with this little bad boy. And this is a two and a half pound, well it's 2.31 pound uh, pork shoulder roast and it's uh, five, cost me $5.64, which is a little high for pork shoulder. 244 a pound, um, but I, that's all I needed. I didn't need to buy a big giant pork butt. And sometimes you gotta pay a little extra for the convenience of having something that you want and not something you necessarily need. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now I can turn you off and we'll be back <laughs> when, we're, when we're bundling them up maybe. So guys, we are ready. And what I've done is I took, I weighed out one pound of that meat mixture, and then I mixed in cilantro, about a half a cup of chopped cilantro, after it was chopped to half a cup. Um, you could replace that with parsley if you wanted, if you don't like cilantro, but um, five cloves of garlic, finely minced, and four small spring onions or green onions, chopped up really, really fine, and a, half a teaspoon of this, well, it's the grinder that I showed you, um, habanero lime and a half a teaspoon of the garlic herb, and mix that all in together. And if you're curious how I did this, I've got a video and it'll come up too. So I'm just giving you bits and pieces. Then out of that mixture, once I mixed it all up, and I weighed it on the scale, that was one pound of meat, including this. I weighed out three ounces of meat, because <clears throat> that's gonna be two points for me. And then I need to scan, and I can't use my phone, <laughs> I'm gonna scan each, let's see, for three wrappers, it's 50 calories, so it's probably a point for every three wrappers. So I'm gonna see how many I get out of this. I'm suspecting, mm, well I'm suspecting that's gonna be plenty for me. So. And then I'm gonna make my sauce and we're gonna steam these in a bamboo basket, steamer basket. And then we'll um, put them and fry them. And for after I add up the points, um, because I am gonna fry them, I'm gonna add another point for that oil. Because, and I haven't had any oil fat today at all. So I'm okay with that. And that's for Weight Watchers. If you guys are following along, these are some ideas. 
just do what you're already going to do for dinner and figure out how you can make it work for you and you don't overdo or, you know, if you overindulge, count it, count it, count it. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited. Are you excited for this? Because, mm, yum. And this is going in the refrigerator. The other oh, 10 pounds of meat, I believe, I mean, that was a big bowl of meat, um, is in the garage refrigerator. And once Michael and I figure out what I'm going to make tomorrow night, if I'm going to use any of that, then um, I'll decide whether I package it up tonight or wait till tomorrow to package it and go in the freezer. And it's fantastic. And we've got meals for how long? Thank you, Papa Deuce. My puppies. If it wasn't for them and Michael, hmm, we wouldn't get all this goodness. And it's all organic. So these guys eat a lot of sagebrush, grain. Mm, they really do. They. They eat well, I'm, I'm just gonna say. All the tender grasses and everything else. All right, so we'll be back and I'll let you know. Okay guys, my pot stickers are done. And I'm just gonna tell you, I had two of them have a blowout because they stuck to the bamboo and then when I pulled them out and put them in the frying pan. But look how golden brown on one side. Oh my gosh. And inside, I saved you. It just is, I don't know if you can see that. Yum! And then the sauce. Hmm. Oh, okay, before I do this, I'm going to end the video. But I just want you to try this with, um, go watch the video to get the recipe. But try this with ground chicken or turkey. And uh, you can add a little pork in there for fat. Or you wouldn't even have to. Um, but you, they might be a little dry, though. So you do you do want to, um, if you were going to use chicken, I'd combine chicken breast with maybe chicken thighs. So if you're opposed to pork, but I'm not. Anyways, I hope I see you next time. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and see what's going on. And I'm super excited. Mm. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Everything you want. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Everything you want in a pot sticker and all the spice, all the flavor. I wouldn't have known that it wasn't made at a takeout place, even though I don't go to takeout. I'm assuming that they're this delicious because this was phenomenal. I'll have pictures at the end of the video. So guys, I can't wait to see you tomorrow and um, have a great night. Don't forget, check the links below. All right, bye. <laughs>